Hi there, this is Why Korea, filling you in with facts you want to know about Korea. Want to experience something special in Korea? Here's a clip with an exotic adventure you can only find in Korea. The Korean tradition and Buddhism mixed in one. Temple Stay What is a Temple Stay? Temple Stay is a unique cultural program coordinated by the Buddhism and the Korean government during the 2002 World Cup in South Korea and Japan. Temple Stay lets you experience the life of Buddhist practitioners and traditional cultures while accommodating in a traditional temple at the same time. Buddhism was brought to Korea during the reign of Sosurim of Goguryeo in 372 AD and became the state religion of Silla and Goryeo dynasty, thus affected Koreans not only in a religious way but in their daily lives. With the freedom of religion practiced in the modern Korean society, Buddhism has become more than a religion but a big part of Korean history. Up to 1,567 Buddhism cultural properties including the Buddhism temple, the statue of the Buddha, pagoda, tripitaka, paintings and etc. are registered as state designated cultural property. This shows the high value of the Korean Buddhism cultural properties. Temple Stay programs allow us to experience the daily lives of a Buddhist practitioner and the Korean traditional culture at the same time while staying at an ancient temple. Also, most Korean temples are located inside a still and quiet mountain, so it would be a great experience for anyone regardless the religion hoping to refresh and relax spiritually. As of 2020, there are 968 temples in Korea. Among them, 141 temples are managing a temple stay program and among 26 of the 141 include a staff exclusive for foreigners, so communication in English won't be a problem. The first thing you need to do if you are interested in temple stay is visit the official website you will be able to find all the information you need. You can also make a reservation. The website is also provided in English, so it won't be difficult to surf around. If you are currently in Korea and want more specific information, visit the Temple Stay Information Center in Jongnogu, Seoul. The Temple Stay Information Center will provide you with a variety of information and also a peaceful tea time with the monk is available. You can also experience making a lotus flower and wood block printing of the Buddhist scriptures. You can purchase many kinds of Buddhist and Korean traditional souvenirs as well. There is a restaurant on the fifth floor called Paru Gongyang, specializing in traditional temple food handmade by Buddhist practitioners. What kind of program is there? There are three types of program in Temple Stay. One day, rest oriented, and experience oriented Temple Stay. One day Temple Stay programs offers an experience of the Buddhist culture for someone who won't be accommodating due to lack of time, but wants to experience Temple Stay for a couple of hours. You can normally choose from Temple Tour sun meditation, tea ceremony, making lotus lantern or Buddhist rosary, writing down the Tripitaka and etc. The one day program is a perfect match if you are planning a short visit to Korea. Rest oriented temple stay programs are for anyone who needs to refresh and relax their soul spiritually in the temple. Most ancient temples in Korea are located inside the mountains far from the city. You can recharge your life energy by meditation and having a yebul in the nature away from everyday life. Besides the fixed programs such as yebul, presenting an offering to Buddha, temple tour and learning the temple etiquette, 
The rest of the time is up for you to spend however you want. It will be a special experience just to relax in the nature even if you are not interested in Buddhism. Experience oriented temple stay program may differ depending on the season and the character of the participant. There are various programs to experience the Buddhist culture such as etiquette of prostrating, parugongyang, which means monastic meal, bowing 108 times, making lotus lantern, exploring hysterical sites, woodblock printing of the Tripitaka, making temple food, drawing mandalas, and etc. You can also experience nature environmental programs surrounding the temple such as the forest experience program, exploring the tide land, making green tea, and so forth. Experiencing the traditional culture may change depending on Chuseok, Seolnal, the beginning and the end of the year, sunrise, and so on. Also, there are exclusive programs open for foreigners from time to time, so keep yourself updated on the website. For common activities, a tour around the temple, looking at buildings, sculptures, arts, crafts, religious paintings, tancheong, and etc. is included. Meditation for mindfulness and focus and yebul, a ceremony paying respect to Sokkamoni Buddha, Bodhisattvas, and all his disciples is included too. Parugongyang, learning of equality, cleanness, and frugal mindset through eating is also one of the common activities. Anywhere to recommend? We recommend the temple in Seoul if you are looking for a convenient visit using the public transportation. There are seven temples you can go by the bus and the subway. Bongunsa in Gangnam is located in among the high buildings and is famous to foreigners for being able to enjoy the city and the traditional temple at the same time. Bongunsa is across from Coex. You can get there on foot from Bongunsa Station, subway line number 9. It will take 1 to 2 minutes. Most of the temples are inside beautiful mountains, so if you are looking for beautiful scenery and want to relax in the nature, any one of them would be fine. However, if you are longing for the mountain and the sea, the Daksansa would be great. You will be able to enjoy the magnificent scenery of the East Sea. Are you into meditating? Then the International Sun Center and the Lotus Lantern International Meditation Center is a fit. At the International Sun Center, you have the opportunities to experience the Kana Sun practice. Kana Sun is a Korean Buddhism meditation practice that allows practitioners to focus on only one topic, Hwadu. The Lotus Lantern International Meditation Center is a temple open to foreigners and a number of foreign Buddhist monks are practicing at this place. There is an excellent meditating course, so if you yearn for meditating, you should visit the Lotus Lantern International Meditation Center. If you are interested in Korean temple cuisine, your choice should be Pegangsa. The well-known nun Jung Kwan from Netflix TV show Chef's Table is practicing at the Pegangsa. Nun Jung Kwan is running a temple stay program in Pegangsa, teaching recipes and philosophy in temple food. Want to experience something unique and special? Then make a visit to Golgulsa. Golgulsa is the one and only temple in the world that practices a martial art called Sonmudo. Son means meditation, Mu means martial art, and Do stands for the training method. Sonmudo started in Korea in the Joseon dynasty period when the monks were trying to protect a country during wars. One of the characteristics of the Korean Buddhism is Buddhism for national protection. Korean Buddhism protected their country by making the Tripitaka Koreana during the invasion of the Khitan and Mongolia in the Goryeo dynasty. 
They also organized Monk Army and fought the Japan Army during the invasion of Japan in the Chosen Dynasty period. Sommudo helps achieve a new stress-free energy by combining our body and mind using our breath and movement. If you want to visit a temple that is registered as World Heritage by the UNESCO, Bulguksa and Heinsa is where you should go. There are nine temples in Korea that is listed as a World Heritage by the UNESCO. Among them, Popjusa, Bulguksa, Maguksa, Heinsa provides English Temples Day programs for foreigners. Bulguksa is a representative temple in Korea where many national treasures such as Sokkatap, Tabotap, Sokkuram, and so forth are located. Tripitaka Koreana, which is registered as World Heritage by the UNESCO, can be found in Heinsa. However, reservation is a must if you want to see the Tripitaka Koreana in person. Any basic etiquette to keep in mind when visiting a temple? A temple is a religious facility, so don't forget the common courtesy. Too much makeup or perfume, short length shorts or sleeveless shirts, vibrant colored clothes or accessory, barefoot and inappropriate dressing should be avoided. There are visitors but also monks practicing in the temple. Making too much noise, invading the monk's private space, drinking and smoking is prohibited. Korean temples are not only a religious facility, but also a valuable cultural asset, so be careful not to make any damage. When entering the Buddha's hall, you shouldn't use the door in the middle, but each of the doors next to the building. The door in the middle is for the monks. If someone is praying, be careful not to interrupt. Can I participate in Temple's Day even if I have another religion? Temple's Day is open to anyone who is interested in Buddhism, Korean culture, and meditation regardless of religion. If you are uncomfortable participating in a service or prostrating because of religious reasons, talk to the monk in charge and let someone know beforehand and quietly wait while others participate. Most temples are old buildings. I'm worried about the conditions of the accommodations. Temple stay is only permitted in temples that can provide accommodations with modern facilities. If you are still worried, visit the temple website for pictures of the accommodation. But keep in mind that you are looking at a religious facility, not a hotel. Sharing rooms and shower rooms are common in group stays. Also different genders can't share a room. If you are visiting as a family, you can stay together but couples with different genders must be in separate rooms. Ask in advance before you reserve. Is it difficult to visit using public transportation? It won't be easy to get to temples located inside the mountains using public transportation. Some temples offer pickup services, so don't forget to ask in advance. What to bring? The temple only provides soap, toothpaste and basic clothing such as pants and vests, towels and toiletry, underwear, socks, clothes, hair dryer, and so on should be provided on your own. Temples located inside mountains are colder than the city, so even if you are visiting in the summer, don't forget to bring something warm to wear. How did you enjoy our clip about Temple Stay? If you have any questions or queries about Temple Stay, let us know on the comments below. If you have already experienced Temple Stay, share your visits on the comments below. It will come handy to anyone planning a Temple Stay. Till next time, Annyeong!